Why call me here so late? What happened? I just wanted to see you. Achu. About my marriage. I know. The Emperor is making a move. You know? Mm hmm. I just didn't expect that. The Emperor would sacrifice his own daughter. In his eyes, except for himself, he can sacrifice anyone. Will you blame me? Why would I blame you? Given the situation, we can only go with the flow. I sympathize with the princess. Even though she's stubborn, she loves you deeply. After your wedding, she will be so upset. At times like that, I won't be of much help. Although I might break her heart, you and I both are risking our lives. Mm -hmm. The two of us have to do our best. But if this time, heaven doesn't favor us, what shall we do then? I do not think we'll fail. Achu, I'll definitely take you back to Northern Yan. The way is far from Northern Yan, passing counties along the way. It's hard to hide. Ever since I was allowed to walk freely again in Chang'an, they stationed an army outside the city. So once we decide to run away, within only 15 minutes, we will be caught. And what's more, we don't know the exact position of the army. Once we take action, we're likely to encounter them. So, the first thing we should do is to get a map of the garrisons that are surrounding the city walls. However, the problem is that the Emperor has announced my marriage, therefore interrupting our previous plans. We should give it further thought. So, we can only escape the city by using force, which isn't a good idea. Don't worry. We'll find a way. Mm. Achu. Hmm? I have to... say something to you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for accompanying me in hell for so long. If it weren't for you, I would have died in prison three years ago. For all this, I will use the rest of my life to pay you back. After we return to Northern Yan, please don't leave me, all right? There's no need to say all that to me. Yanshan, Northern Yan is my birthplace. My dear Loha, I met Chu Chao. She's grown up. Very beautiful and smart. She has grown up to be just like you. But she seems to have forgotten the past. She doesn't remember herself, nor me anymore. My dear Loha, I swear to you, if Chu Chao doesn't recall the experiences she endured, or reveal my past, or hurt my child. I will risk my life to protect her. Loha, I ask for your blessing. Please protect Chu Chao, and me as well. Your Highness, the Emperor is manipulative. He wants to use your marriage to the princess. Our prior plan of absconding in disguise must be abandoned. So now, we only have one way, and that is to storm Chang'an. But if we don't take the city gate, everything else is hard to guarantee.
Dryness. A letter. Wait a minute. This is not our homing pigeon. Your Highness? Your Highness, who wrote the letter? It says he's your old friend. He invites us to go to the Tuishan house south of the city in two hours. My old friend? He didn't identify himself, so it's probably a trap. If they really want me to die, they can just wait until I die. What's the point of this? Go. Let us meet him. Go. Welcome. Please come in. My lady, they've arrived. I will take my leave now. So it's you. Zhang Yu, you and I are old friends. There's no need to raise our swords upon meeting after a long time. Who is she? A Liang spy. Three years ago. They were lurking around Chang'an, and have fought me many times. I don't know how much they intervened back then. Prince Yan, I've heard a lot about you. As a Liang spy, how dare you meet me so brazenly? I dare not meet others. Except for you. Because you won't report me, even if I tell you now, that tonight, I will assassinate the Emperor. Maybe. Perhaps I should report you to gain the trust of the Emperor. <laughs> I don't think that you reporting me will help you gain the trust of the Emperor. Your Highness, you're smart, and you don't have to beat around the bush when you're with me. So why exactly did you ask me here? Partnership. Between us? Yes. The three-year deadline is approaching. We both know that since your marriage was announced, it's impossible for you to run away in disguise. If you take Chang'an by force and then decide to go back to Northern Yan, then you must first take control of the city gate. And my force has been lurking amongst the gate guards. I think I can help you to some extent. She's lying, because during that period, and when you were in prison, she stopped me from saving you. The times have changed. If your highness perished that year, there would be no ruler in Northern Yan, and everyone would try to carve it up. The Emperor of Wei couldn't subdue them, then the Wei would fall apart. The Liang was happy to see the Wei clan in trouble. So naturally, I prevented you from saving him. Your Highness, do you still remember when you were in prison? One of my guys tried to assassinate you, but he failed. <laughs> However, now, the situation is quite different. The Emperor of Wei has been in charge of Northern Yan for three years. During these years, he sent many of his minions to lurk in Northern Yan. And across the land, there is no one, except for you, Prince Yan, who could easily take Northern Yan back from the Emperor. So, Your Highness, I'm helping you today, <laughs> in order to help the Liang, which is in our interest. Is that so? So, Your Highness, I'm your only trusted ally, and the only person you can trust in today's Chang'an city. 
Your Highness. The Emperor is shrewd, and many people think of you as a thorn on their sides. So the advice I just gave you, I hope you will think about it. How do you want to do this? So you agree? There are no permanent enemies. Only permanent interests. I'm sure you agree. Your Highness, you're smart as I expected. So now, I'm much more confident about our partnership. <laughs> Your Highness. Tai Wei, did Yanshan say anything? How come none of the names have been changed? Didn't he want to invite anyone to the wedding? Prince Yanshun didn't even look at it. <laughs> he might be too busy. <laughs> what would he be busy with? Princess Chun, do you really have to marry Prince Yanshun? I just don't know. What's good about Prince Yan? I think he has changed. Now, whenever he looks at you, we have no idea what he's thinking. And he seems to too concerned about that maid. Your Highness. You're noble and beautiful and can marry someone better. You don't have to marry him. Tai Wei, you do not understand these feelings. If you love someone, you'll want to see him every day. After you see him, you'll be very happy. You'll want to stay with him. Then you'll feel very satisfied. And what's more, can you name a man who loved only one woman in his lifetime? Take my father. He has numerous concubines, some of whom he doesn't even know. Therefore, if he really likes her, I think it's acceptable for him to marry her. Also, Prince Yanshin and I have known each other since we were children. I don't believe that he has no feelings for me. And after we get married, as time goes by, he will eventually fall for me. So, Yanshin is getting married, and you're so upset, you can't shoot properly? I haven't finished talking and you're leaving? Isn't that impolite? What are you trying to say? Yanshin's getting married. Are you happy? Are you happy? I am happy. You jerk. No wonder you're feeling upset after accompanying him for so many years. You talk too much, you know. What now? Are you feeling annoyed? You and Ye, you're a smart guy. I believe you know what this wedding means. You are now standing here, taking pleasure in my misfortune. Just as you did back at the execution square. There's no difference, right? Now that you know that, why not leave? Leave? Where should I go? Can I leave? I don't believe you'll await your doom. Tell me, what are you up to? Why don't you ask the Emperor what he's planning to do? Do you understand that every day you're taking a step closer to death? The way will deploy troops to block your way. If you want to survive, 
then you should avoid Northern Yon, and stay as far away as you can. I won't prevent you from running away, but if you dare disturb Chang'an, you'll face a certain death. You and Ye, you'd better either help me, or just stay out of this. Stop the nonsense! However, you have your family and position at stake, so you can't help me anyway. I don't want to be your enemy. <laughs> you already are. If you go too far, I won't stay out of this. Now that you and I are enemies, let's not get too close to each other. If you choose to get in our way, then I won't go easy on you. Well? Bring them in. Yes. yes. You can leave. The consort has arrived! Greetings, mother. All of you leave. Yes. <laughs> so, mother, what brings you here? My daughter is getting married. And I was the last to know. What, dear? Can't I come to see you? <laughs> but I didn't mean that, Mother. <laughs> You're so unfilial that you made such a big decision without my permission. Do you even still consider me your mother? But I just didn't want to marry the Prince of Liang. If you didn't want him, you could have told me. Why did you go to the Emperor and ask him for Yanshan? Why do you have to be so stubborn? What's wrong with marrying Yanshun? I really want to marry him! Go ahead! Why not beat me to death? If I am beaten to death, then I don't have to marry anyone! <laughs> Mother... Please allow me to marry Yanshun. I've liked him since I was a kid, and I'm sure you know that. Why are you so silly? There is a family feud between you two. Have you forgotten what happened three years ago? I haven't forgotten. And I am never ever going to forget. I feel guilty for him all the time. At that time, I wasn't able to do anything for him. But now I'm an adult, and I can protect him. If he can be my husband, then no one will be able to hurt him, including father. Then he'll be safe. How could you be so naive? Mother... I know Yanshan is the love of my life. In this life, there's probably no one else in this world who will make me feel like he does. But have you ever thought about what Yanshan is thinking of you? Does he hate you or not? Does he hate your father? Does he hate the Wei Clan? After you marry him, what will life be like? Your father killed his father. Can he really love you? I don't want to think too much. Even if he doesn't like me, even if he hates me, I will do whatever I can to protect him from harm. Even if I die, I will protect him. Mother, this is my last request to you. Please let me marry him. Do as you wish. I hope that you won't regret the decision you made today. I am never going to regret it. <sighs> Greetings, my lady. 
General Y. Weren't you listening to me before? I'm busy these days. I don't have time for you. Which is why I was waiting for your highness to come. So, what do you want? It's a long story. Let's go to Lanfu Palace to talk. Nonsense! Though you're my cousin, it's improper for you to frequently come visit me in my palace. When I'm free another day, I'll ask you to come. Set out. The person I'm to serve must be important. The Emperor. Are you afraid? Please. I am from a poor family, and I can only count on you. The palace is a place where a poor girl can finally change her ways. I promise I will not disappoint you. Come on, get up, please. You must prepare for it. And after I send you to the palace, it's all up to you. Thank you. How ungrateful. I'm the one who put you where you are, and now you treat me like this. Hey, Tao Tao, look, I brought you some flowers. Do you like them? Uh, I, I picked them just now. Uh, do you like them? Just smell them, they're sweet. Hey, Chow Chow, are you angry with me? Listen, your highness, this is the Wei military camp. I have no time to chat. Uh, I'm not busy, though. I can chat with you. Hey, <laughs> you can't refuse to chat with me. Chow Tzu. You are the most annoying person I've ever met. Really? This is the first time someone's called me annoying. <laughs> anyway, Chow Chow, I also brought you other gifts. With you being such a pretty girl, you know you must take care of your skin, especially in the military camp. Let me show you. That's enough! You the... Let me tell you, I'll make everything clear to you right here and now. <laughs> I don't like you. I don't like how you walk in front of me wearing colorful, unmanly clothes. I don't like that you make fools of others by acting like an idiot. I can't stand your slanted eyes, how you speak, your irrationality, and how you stir up trouble. Nice shot, Chow Chow. You've made a sound assessment. Is there anything else? Yes, there is. Let's try to keep the peace around here, because if you anger me again, I will beat you up. <sighs> so what now? Though you said those harsh words, I still like you so much. <laughs> Your Highness! If you really like me, then stay away from me. And watch out for my punch. Hey, Chow Chow, I haven't finished yet. What's the matter? General Yuan, our crown prince is living comfortably, and he's weak. I did not expect the people in this camp to be so rude. It's unacceptable. This camp is an important place. Your Highness, uh, please don't come without notice. What? What do you mean? You're not going to punish your men? Or give us an explanation? Hey, don't be rude. All I did was fall. It had nothing to do with anyone. <laughs> Chow Chow, look at me. I had a really bad fall. Would you please go on a date with me? Why do you always want to be with me? Because I really like you, Chow Chow. Your Highness, if you want to go for a walk, I can go with you. I just want Chow Chow. Chow Chow, many armies are stationed outside the city, and there's a foul smell surrounding us. With you by my side, the air will smell lovelier, and with you, the view will become very beautiful. <laughs> Yanshin is worried about the garrison map. Maybe I can take this opportunity to see the garrison outside. 
Fine then. Since your highness has invited me, I'll go and accompany you. Really? Let's go! <laughs> your highness, are you interested in hunting? Not far ahead is the way hunting field. How could I do such cruel things? I'm different from your people here. Well, the people here, they don't respect life at all. Why do you say that? I heard you have a hunting game called Human Hunting, which uses people as prey. It's incredibly dehumanizing. You could just hunt animals. You can just hunt animals? Animals have lives too. My father advocates Buddhism and the equality of all lives. Hmm. That's so kind of you. Of course! Some people love to take lives, but I advocate creating life. Creating life? If I could create life with a woman that I love, it would be a beautiful thing. Ciao, ciao. Shall we give it a try? I have good genes, and we can create wonderful children! Okay, enough! Yeah. Hey! Yeah. Ciao, ciao! Well, wait for me! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you prepared the garrison map for Yanshan? It is ready. If Yanshan can escape this time, he should thank you. <laughs> no, he won't. If it weren't for me, he wouldn't stay here for three years. National affairs are devoid of self-interest. I just hope that he won't disappoint me and be killed by the way too early. I hear that the Crown Prince has ventured outside the city. Yes. Have you sent the people there? Absolutely. Hmm. I hope after this time, I won't have to see his face again. Stop! Your Highness, in the past I saw you ride your steed so exquisitely, yet you're not riding so well today. Well, because the truth is, this isn't my horse. That horse of mine, I raised by myself. It listens to me. But this horse seems to want to throw me off all the time. So then, why didn't you just ride your own horse? Because I wanted to match you. See? Today, you're riding a black horse. A black horse with white hair on its nose. So I should ride a white horse with black hair on its nose. That way it matches and we're cute. <laughs> <laughs> How very interesting. I used to believe you weren't normal. And now I'm convinced of it. You're definitely not normal. Yes, that's the case. I may not be normal, but I'm pretty fair-minded. I am, in any case, always handsome and debonair. You are a very lucky girl. Did you do this? What, ask someone to hurt me? Chow-chow, this is no way to hug me. Shut up!
I'm fine. Let's go. All right. to the plan accordingly, but because of insufficient forces, whatever deployment we use, we won't control the city gate. And Xiaoyu has an ulterior motive. It's very hard to trust her. So now, we can only use Shuli to... I know what you mean. Forget about using Achu to control the Shuli army. Join us! Your Highness, Chu Chao is in danger. She's south of Xiao Guan. And why did she go there? Today, Chu Chao went to see the garrison under the pretense of protecting Xiao Tzu. Really? It's true. Su Jia saw them ambushed by many assassins. Your Highness, please don't go. If you leave at will, then you'll violate orders. Your life will. Ah Chu's life is more important than anything. Please remember one. Rescue Achu safely. Two, don't expose yourself. If they catch you, Ajing, do you know what to do? I do, Your Highness. Then go. Your Highness, the Crown Prince of Liang was attacked. Who did it? I don't know. But if the Crown Prince dies, Chang'an will descend into chaos which is in our interests. And if that's the case, we'd better help that assassin. Moreover, if Ah Chu is still with Prince Xiao She, he's probably already dead. Heaven seems to favor me. How could you be so silly? Don't you know that my death... It would be good news for you. <laughs> How could this be so strong? My lord, the gate guard found that Prince Yan left in disguise. But how? He brought several bodyguards. We didn't stop him. Just as you ordered. Where's he going? He was riding very fast, to the south of Xiao Guan. Xiao Guan? Yes. The crown prince of Liang left the city with Drill Master Chu this afternoon, heading to Xiao Guan as well. Seven, gather all the Ye guards. Remember, they are not to alarm the generals in the camp. Order people to accompany me to Xiao Guan. We must catch up with Yanshan. Chao Chao, 
Are you awake, Chow Chow, huh? <sighs> Finally, there's no strange smell. Uh, this outfit was soaked for a long time. It's old and ugly. Stay under it for a while. Just don't move, don't move. You haven't recovered yet. Don't move. It must hurt, right? <sighs> Chow Chow, tell me. What should we do now? We do nothing. Sit down. Get some rest. Oh. Chow Chow. So, um, who do you think those people were? The ones who chased us? I don't know. In my opinion, from the Liang perspective, if I die here, then there would be no crown prince, and my brother will succeed to the throne. In the city of Chang'an, the one who wants me to die the most is your master, Yan Shun. If I die, Chang'an will fall into disarray. Also, Wei and Liang will go to war. The Emperor of Wei won't have time to deal with Yan Shun. At that time, Yan Shun will be invincible. <laughs> but I really don't think that that's the case here, since you desperately tried to save me, right? Shut your mouth. <laughs> Uh, You'd best keep quiet and cut the nonsense. Aren't you afraid that I'll kill you? Chow Chow, the reason why I like you is that you're smart, kind, and a good woman. Hey, are you thirsty? Why don't you let me get you some water? Wait, are you hungry too? How about I get you something to eat? <laughs> <laughs> Chow, what's wrong? Uh, your wounds are bleeding again. What to do? What do I do? Uh. Kill him. Huh? Kill him. Me? Uh, I will. I, I... I can't. Come on. Uh, okay, I will. Uh. Watch out, uh. uh. You hear me? Uh. Chow Chow, it's too dangerous here. Let's go and hide. Come on, I'll help you up. Come on. Slowly. Slowly. Yan Xin disobeyed orders and went to Xiaoguan. I'm worried about Xing. My lord, if we go down there, we can say 15 minutes. But the cliff is pretty steep. We can't waste time. Slowly. Sit here, Chow Chow. What's wrong? Does it hurt again, huh? There are herbs over there. Huh? Pick some for me. Oh, okay. Stop fighting. I can't. I think... I think that we should... We should kill them together. What do you think? First... It's I, not we. Second... There are a dozen enemies, and only one of me. How many do you think I can kill? 
in this state. Don't blame me if I need to sacrifice your life in order to save my own, if there's no other way. Well, so, Chao Chao. I'll draw the enemy away, and then you can escape, okay? Oh yeah. This is for you. I'm not a martial artist. This is a secret weapon my father gave me. As soon as you turn it, 50 needles will fly out. Each needle is poisonous, and it's enough to kill them. Just keep it with you. At the right time, it'll save your life. Here. Are you suddenly realizing that you're in love with me? Huh? It's okay, just relax. When we're back in Chang'an, you'll have the chance to be with me. <laughs> They're coming. I'll steer them away. Be careful. I'll be fine. Shit. 